I want to be taking home at least one crore. Some sacrifices are required. It's not even called a sacrifice. Some focus is required. You can't continue to live as a college student. The lifestyle of a college student and expect to see one crore before you're 25. In fact, if we can keep reminding ourselves of what is my primary purpose. We go to the gym and we want to avoid a few exercises because it's very st stressful. But why did you go to the gym? Because your legs were weak. Now you don't want to do leg exercise. You have forgotten the primary purpose for which you enrolled yourself into the gym. What is the primary purpose? Now I'm starting my own business because before 25, I want to be taking home at least one crore. Some sacrifices are required. It's not even called a sacrifice. Some focus is required. You can't continue to live as a college student. The lifestyle of a college student and expect to see one crore before you're 25. You want to see one crore before 25. Then you will have to keep reminding yourself when you get distracted by your friends, when you get distracted by activities happening around you, you have to ask yourself this question, what is the primary purpose for which I started my own business? The number of fights you will not even get into in a husband and wife relationship. Useless fights. Useful fights, it's okay. Useless fights. You are not spending time with me. So let's fight so that that will make you spend time with me. <laughs> if you only you can remind yourself, I went into this relationship because I wanted to enhance my love and happiness in life. I went into this relationship because I wanted companionship. And what am I focusing right now on? Who is right? Who is wrong? The ego. Whether you are doing it or I should do it. Why, where have I gone into this transactional mode? For you I am doing so much. How much are you doing for me? When I make somebody happy, are you not happy in the process? When I love somebody, don't you feel loved in the entire process? When I hug somebody, am I not hugged in the entire process? When I improve the quality of my relationship with him, am I not also enjoying a better marriage in the entire process? The only way you can get into a transactional mindset in a relationship is you have forgotten what is the primary purpose for which I came into this relationship. One question. And repeatedly asked, not once, repeatedly reminded yourself. Some of you, you started business to make money. That was your primary focus. Right now there are non-performers in the organization. And you are saying, Pawan, if in case for his non-performance, I let him go, what will his family do? If he loses his job, his family will suffer. He should be more concerned about it and perform. You should not be concerned about it. If a few non-performers do not lose their job on account of non-performance, very soon you will build an organization of mediocrity because everybody will take their place. You will build a government office. Where everybody gets this feeling, whether I perform or not, my job is secure. Why? Because I have a nice, kind-hearted boss. You want to be a nice, kind-hearted? Start an NGO. Represent a purpose. Reach out to the world. Don't build a business for that. If you build a business for that, then it has to be driven by performance culture. If it's not driven by performance culture, then do something. What is the primary purpose for which you build a business? You are representing a purpose. Money is not the point of focus. If at all it's a byproduct. You can build a very different culture there. I don't have to keep on elaborating this. The central theme for everything is this one question. What was my primary purpose when I started this? What is the primary purpose for which I am going there? What is the primary purpose? For example... Don't get me wrong. There are people who have started cycling. They use some other word. Spinning. Because they wanted to do 45 minutes or one hour of cardio exercise. Then a gang set. Other spinners come. 
then all the spinners tell each other Shall we go up to Mahabalipuram and come or Shiagad and come depending on whichever place there are. Bangalore one exclusive road is there. Bangalore Hyderabad highway. It's only for spinners and bikers. Let's go there. So suddenly it is becoming two hours every day. Because oh gang set ho gaya. Ek chai pina hai. We all meet there. Chai pina. So suddenly in the morning the family doesn't get to see you. What did you start this for? 45 minutes of cardio bath. Now you are not able to go to work at 9.30 because by the time you finish also you suddenly now working hours has been shifted. Are you clear about it? I am not saying you don't have to. Are you clear about it? Suddenly I don't hear any reports of your success in business because business is not growing. Why business is not growing? Because the talks between North Korea and America did not go well. What is your business? I am selling jewelry in Chennai. In the connection, puri liye na ke. But there is no reason, man. So now you need an alternative success for you to feel successful. So I ran ten kilometers today. I am planning to run marathon next week. After that, I am planning to go biking for hundred kilometers. Is there idea here, ka? Somewhere you want to be that. What is that fellow? Seven times Armstrong. You want to do something like that? I can understand this. Suddenly, every day, two and a half hours, three hours goes off and running or spinning. Business is not growing. Family is not getting your time. And suddenly, there is the superficial relationships, which is getting all your time. Now, the focus has become that we spin in the morning and we drink in the evening. So, three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening goes. Then your wife is feeling you are no more giving time. And this is an issue. Obviously, it's an issue because... And you are telling your wife, you have to understand. Finally, I found something to enjoy in life. This also I should not enjoy. No, you are not enjoying. You have created an easier alternative for you to feel successful. Because this is an easy way to feel successful. 10 kilometers become 12 kilometers, you will feel successful. Nothing else will happen. You are not getting the gratification of feeling successful in your business right now. You don't know how to take your business to the next level. You have simply created an alternative addiction for you, which is giving you a false sense of success. So that, because beyond the stage, this is not exercise. This is indulgence. If you somewhere lift a weight and do 15 reps and you do three sets and come, it's exercise. Whole day you're walking with dumbbells. Somebody old, even Infinipati sitting there doing this. Loose then are they? That's not called exercise. Somewhere I have to keep asking myself this question. What is the primary purpose for which I have come to this college? What is my primary purpose for which I have gone to this university? What is the primary purpose for which I have started this business? What is the primary purpose for which I have shifted jobs? What is my primary purpose for going to HDB? What is my primary purpose with Infinity Path? What is my primary responsibility towards my family? What is my primary success? Am I cheating myself on my primary success by creating a lot of secondary and third rate success and some way creating this artificial satisfaction that I am a success and I am not actually succeeding in my primary success? which alone can alter my life. All this will not alter my life.